Coming up in today's video, I do a braid out on my mini braids and talk to you about week two and week three of my mini braids challenge. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. It is now week two to three on my mini braids hair growth challenge hair on my channel. Thank you so much. I want to say welcome or welcome back to all my new and returning subscribers. I really appreciate each and every one of you stopping by my channel, checking out my content, liking my videos and leaving me a comment. If you haven't yet done so, do go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also give this video a like if it is helping you on your natural hair journey. Week two to three, uh, this week um, I had a breakout of dermatitis and so I had to give my hair a wash. So my hair has been washed. It's been conditioned. I washed it with a cheap generic supermarket brand shampoo and I put in there hair hydration and left it on for about 15 minutes and then I rinsed it out. As a result, my hair looks shrunken and it also looks frizzy. This challenge i won't really be measuring my hair i think because it's such a short eight week challenge i will be showing you my final results at the end and as i said i'm hoping to get two inches or very close to two inches so do stay tuned in terms of growth there isn't much to report but you can see that growth has already started on my hair it is not too late for you to join onto this challenge. Just go ahead and sign up down below and follow the videos week by week where I'm giving you advice on how to grow your hair. So I'll be doing my videos like week two to three, three to four, um, just because, because of the posting schedule, it might not be the exact week. So just follow along as I post them and it will still be quite relevant for the week that this, uh, the, of the challenge. So the very first thing I noticed when I was doing this braid out on my hair was obviously that my hair had gotten longer. Um, after I conditioned my hair, it felt quite dry and I did the braid out on uh, dry hair and it felt quite stringy. I looked at my ends and they needed a cut. So I did go ahead and cut these a few days later and that video will be out for my next update. Doing a braid out on my mini braids is a great style. It gives you instant curls without using any heat and it really changes up your look. Wearing mini braids for a long period as a protective style can be quite boring when it comes to styling options, but I find that by adding hairbands to my hair, um, a, a nice beautiful scrunchie or indeed doing a braid out or a twist out on my already braided hair gives me a different look. The technique is very simply, I gather my hair into uh, at least eight braids and I braid them overnight. I make sure that my hair is damp and then I just braid those down and then I remove these the next morning. The result is beautifully curled hair that you can wear out, you can decide to wear it like this. I would say add a little bit of olive oil to your hands as you take these down. Not only does it give you a shine but it also makes taking down these braids um, a lot easier. Try not to manipulate your hair too much, try not to spray anything that's very water based on your hair while you're having this um, uh, braid out on your mini braids because your braid out won't last as long. So do go ahead and moisturize and seal your hair before you uh, put these braids in and do keep them on for at least a day, at least a night. And if you keep it on for a whole day, you'll be able to get more detailed curls that will last longer. The longer you keep your braids in for, the longer your braid out will last. As you can see on this challenge, I'm growing out my natural hair long using mini braids. Mini braids has been something in my regimen for a long time, but doing these challenges, I'm really seeing great results. If you've not yet joined onto a mini braids challenge, do go ahead and go into my playlist and check out my mini braids playlist where I go through detailed week by week on any one of my challenges, how I grow my natural hair out. It is free. It is simple. And it's something that you can start doing today. You can wear it under your wigs. You can also apply hair on top of this as it is winter. I know it's quite hard to get your hair off your jumpers or your scarves and things like that it's absolutely fine to add some hair over your mini braids if you want to break for a few weeks this very simple style is giving me great results so do go ahead and try mini braids on your hair also look at my hair this is a great style just to wear as a style and i got lots of comments on wearing this you know it looked crimpled it looked like i did some sort of iron um crimpled it but it was just braids on my mini braids and i got beautiful results I do want to point you to two other uh, playlists that might help. As you know, I'm using growth aids in this challenge and I'm using virgin hair fertilizer and cloves 
I've done a previous video talking about my regimen in mini braids do go ahead and check that out I also detail all the products that I use in my hair and I will be using for the duration of this eight-week challenge to help you to grow your natural hair if you do the braid out on your mini braids it doesn't have to stop there you can try to style it as I'm trying to do in this video so let's try and watch this style that I come up with Mini braids are so versatile, they can be styled up and down for weddings, for any occasion going to the office, just a normal day. I just added a lovely headband there and it transformed the style to something that I could wear on a nice evening, dinner or something like that. Or I just put the bun up and it really gives an added uh, look to this. The main thing I like about wearing uh, a braid out on my mini braids is that it does give me added volume to my hair. As stated that once I saw my hair in uh, this style I knew that it was time for trim so my next video will be trimming my mini braids. Trimming your mini braids is very important for maintenance but for the look of the final mini braids on your head and it's a long term protective style so you do want to make sure that it looks well. Once again, week two to three then, I'm keeping things very, very simple. I'm looking at my scalp to see if it's dirty and then I will wash accordingly. I might need to do weekly washes if this breakout lasts a long time. That's absolutely fine. Wash your hair and if you need to redo any bits of the edges, go ahead and do that and keep it very, very simple. I make sure that my hair is moisturized by adding in a uh, hello hydration and I add my hair growth uh, aid to my scalp and I make sure that's sealed in with castor oil. I'm using a lot of castor oil at the moment or with Vaseline. I alternate between grease and castor oil to make sure that my ends are sealed. It is a great time to experiment with styles and as I've done in this video, I've shown you how to do braid out on your mini braids, a gorgeous style that you can style up and down to wear out to a wedding or anywhere and you're going to be looking gorgeous in your natural mini braid with no extensions in your hair and your hair is going to be growing. If you haven't yet joined onto any one of my challenges, do go ahead and subscribe and if you have any comments, put them down below in the comments box. I'll be very, very happy to respond to that. Do go ahead and check out the video I talk about goal setting that I made almost at the start of this year. It's almost the end of the year and I'll be going more over how to achieve your hair goals on this challenge. We really want to grow our natural hair out in 2023 and I'm looking forward to so much content. I have so much content ideas planned for next year and mini braids will feature greatly because I've got so much growth from it in 2022 so look out for that. I hope today's video has helped you on your natural hair journey. If it has, do go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also give this video a like. I want to thank you so, so much, especially to everyone that's just joined this channel. You really mean a lot to me and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.